Hello, this is Chris Yeagle with Diligent Plans. I'd like to share another leadership tip, and that's that leaders must have a range of leadership. Let me give you an example. So many years ago, when I was an Army officer, uh, we had a field manual. I think it was 7-0 or something. I'm sure some of you will see this and correct me, but it was a field manual. And within that manual, there was something, uh, an illustration that I remember called the, the uh, Band of Excellence. So basically, as a uh, military unit, you were judged on readiness. How ready are you to go out and fight our nation's wars? Units range from not ready to almost ready to ready and, and proficient across all areas, ready to deploy the next day. Um, so you, we operate in this band of excellence, meaning there's times when we weren't quite ready to deploy, which is fine. There's other times we were ready to go the next day and it fluctuated within this band now you could get below the band, which meant you were kind of subpar in some areas. Um, that wasn't acceptable, but as long as you were in this band, you fluctuated and, and moved up and down in terms of readiness. I think that same concept applies to leadership. You can't be so rigid in your leadership that you don't appeal to the masses. You've had, you have to meet them where they are, so to speak. You know, in the Bible, in the book of Corinthians, Paul says, I have become all things to all people, so that by all possible means, I can save some. What he means by that is you gotta be flexible. Uh, now, now, mind you, I'm not telling you to compromise your values. You should carve those in stone and you never, you never deviate from your values. You gotta live them, right? But within that range, uh, within a range, not compromising your values, you know, some people respond well to a stern type of leadership. Uh, where you talk to them straight and you give it to them how it is and you don't pull any punches. Other people need a little bit more compassion. You might talk to them and say, hey, you know, I noticed you've been a little off. Is there something going on? Uh, what can I help you with? What can I resource you with? Um, so maybe there's this uh, diversity among your team to where one day you have to be rigid or from one moment to the next, to the next you have to be a little softer and maybe even softer still. Uh, some people like being talked to daily. Other people can just do their thing and be excellent over periods of time. They don't need any feedback. If you haven't watched my Know Your People talk, you should go watch that as well. Uh, it's under our um, Leadership Revival playlist. But um, anyways, you gotta know your people. That way when you know them, you can be who they need you to be as a leader. You have to have that leadership flexibility. You have to have that range of leadership. You know, the, the, the cliche is, you know, you should be able to talk to a janitor and you should be able to talk to a CEO in, you know, the same day and be able to meet them where they are and be relatable and have influence or impact on them. It applies across the board, no matter how many people we have as leaders, as leaders. So I want to just reemphasize as a leader, don't be so rigid that you don't reach your people. Remember, leadership's about people. It's not about, you know, you being a, a leader and then taking the spotlight and those things, it's about being flexible and meeting them where they are so you can have the most imp influence and the most impact on people's lives. This is Chris Shagel. Thank you for listening.